Good afternoon, friends. So today I want to show you how I do some trimming <clears throat> on my indoor plants. A lot of people I noticed are scared, are scared of trimming their plants. Um, but let me show you really quick. So you can see how big this Monstera is. And it's getting bigger because we've got a new leaf coming out here um, from this big old boy right there. That's one of the newer leaves right here. And you can see um, it's got, it's getting a lot happier since I brought it inside. Um, this Monstera plant, when it's not happy, when it's not getting the right conditions, it will not have these holes in it. Um, as you can see, like these center leaves, I had it on the porch all summer and it just didn't like it. And then as soon as I brought it inside, he started to get new leaves with, um, you can see here's his newest leaf. It's all these beautiful um, <clears throat> holes in him. So what I'm gonna be doing is going in here and all of these little leaves that are kind of like whole, I am going to be chopping them off to give him more room in the center because a lot of these are old and um, I just don't like the way it looks right now. So let me set you guys up somewhere. Right there is perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna go in pretty low in these leaves and just chop out the ones that I don't want there. And I can, um, like I can propagate this if I wanted to. Like if I had somebody close to me to give these to, I would totally do it, but I don't. <laughs> and the last thing I need is another Monstera getting five feet wide in my house because I don't have any freaking room as it is in here. So I'm going to cut off any leaves that have any like brown markings on them um, or that are like weirdly shaped like this or if they're going into another leaf like this one here it's kind of growing right in the center which is making this leaf kind of weird looking so we're going to trim those up. And some of these leaves, um, they are uh, like these center leaves, some of them will get um, holes in them. They'll start to, they're already like this one here, it's starting to form its holes because it's happier as a whole. But yeah, I need to get. Um, what I need to do is get one of those pieces of wood and wrap moss around it so I can give it something to grow onto and up like a tree instead of out and wide like it's growing. It was so much smaller when I bought it. Uh, you guys can go look back through my videos if you want. And about the end of the end of summer is when I got him. And uh, yeah. He was so much smaller. But I put him in this bigger pot, this way bigger pot, and he just exploded with growth. So I think that's good right there. I don't want to get too happy with my scissors here or my clips. But this little guy right down here in the center, we're going to get rid of him. Yeah, I think that is good. He looks a lot better now. His leaves have uh, more room to just flop about. Yeah, he really needs a structure to climb on. So that's gonna be a project coming up soon. And I'll give you a little look-see at all my other plants, how they are doing. Here's my lupine seedlings, looking pretty bad. 
the nursery. Everyone's looking good, getting bigger. These guys are all panda plant um, cuttings. Look, my uh, this basil start um, almost gonna flower soon. Here's my air plants. They're all looking happy. I spray them every couple days with a spray bottle to keep them moist. Here's the other ones. This guy's growing bigger. I've tried to like prop him up and he just won't have any of it. He just keeps flopping over, so we're gonna leave him that way. Um, Allison ripped this uh, guy's leaves off all the way completely and he had to start over, but he's getting new leaves. He's looking pretty good. Here's my coleus clippings. Every week or so, I just turn them like that so they get proper light. My jasmine's flowering from, it's still flowering from the moon blood I put in it. I've been getting a, a whole new crop of flowers, and so I'm grateful for that. Um, you can see my pothos. It is totally, let's see, it's way over here. It's starting to grow way over this way. Oh, it's got some water on it. Yeah, it's growing. It's getting all kinds of crazy. Uh, and you can see the, the main pothos over here. And my raven, my black ZZ plant. Look, he's got a bunch of new growth on him. These guys aren't even finished opened and he's already getting two new stems. I love how they come out bright green and then they fade into this black color. Um, I'm gonna do some trimming on him too, actually, cause he's got a couple pieces that are brown. There we go. Never be afraid to cut your plants um, and give them a little trim like that because they actually can really, they really like it. Like this new growth, because see how it's all brown, these ends are all brown. If it's suffering like that, it's stealing energy from the healthier growth. So it's just more beneficial for your plants to just trim them up. If they have any yellowing on them, just trim it out. Deffenbacher looking beautiful. Um, ever since I put this pothos plant up here, he started to um, variegate a lot more. You can see he uh, was not variegating. Like he had no variegation on him because I had him in too bright of light. But now he is looking beautiful because it's a golden pothos and it's supposed to have all this variegation on it and it didn't. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video about some plant care that I'm doing. And I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next one.